Hi, today I've got a really cool tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how to use Venetian blinds, which is a really cool effect uh, used a lot in motion graphics. You can apply to your shape layers, um, text layers, solids, so let's get right to it. I'm going to create a new composition. I'm going to use 29.97 for the frame rate, the width and height um, are 1920 by 1080 and the duration is 4 seconds. Um, now I'm going to create a new solid and I'm going to use um, red for the color. And now I'm going to apply Venetian blinds. So go to your effects and presets tab and just type in Venetian blinds and you will see this effect and apply to your solid. So we can keyframe the transition completion, uh, the direction of the lines and the width of the lines. Um, Venetian blinds, as you can see, basically divides your solid into the separate rectangles and basically uh, does a linear wipe between them. So I'm going to change the direction to maybe uh, minus 45, the width to 120, and the transition completion to 100. And now I'm going to click on the stopwatch. Uh, then move uh, 10 frames down your timeline by pressing shift and page down and change the transition completion to zero. Now go to effects, Venetian blinds and select these two keyframes and just press F9 which will make things look a bit better. And now we have this animation. Okay. So now what you can do is you can duplicate your uh, solid, press um, Control shift y and then uh, make it a bit darker. Then move the second solid underneath the first one. And now you need to move this layer back a few frames, maybe three frames. And that looks pretty good. We have the darker uh, red solid appearing underneath the lighter red solid. So this looks pretty cool. And if you want this to reveal a text layer, then you can basically um, type in your text. And I'm just going to make this bigger. I'm going to align it to the center of the composition and then I'm going to duplicate this red solid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it up there, click on toggle switches modes until you see uh, these options uh, and then uh, click alpha matte red solid. So this will basically uh, reveal your text with this red solid and it will automatically turn off the visibility of the red solid so that you can see your text. Now I'm going to show you something else. Um, I'm going to delete all of these layers and move this back to the beginning and I'm going to duplicate these Venetian blinds. I'm going to change uh, the direction on the second uh, Venetian blinds to plus 45 and then I'm going to alt click on um, this stopwatch and I'm going to just uh, click on this and drag it uh, all the way up there. So now basically uh, what that did is uh, whenever I change um, this, uh, this value will change automatically. By doing that you only need to keyframe the first effect and the second one will do everything automatically. So these two now create the rectangles because the angles on this effect and this effect are opposite. And there's a really cool animation. So I just need to change this back to zero and we have these rectangles appearing. Like I said, this effect is used a lot in motion graphics and it is going to make your videos look better as long as you don't overuse it. I hope you liked this tutorial, if you want to help me out then subscribe, 
If you have any questions, then uh, leave a comment. And thank you for watching.